everybody. Welcome back to Women Carrying Knives. We got ProTech and there's Matt's head. What's up, Matt? How's it going? Welcome to the ProTech booth. Awesome. Let's show this really quick. Sure. We have got the overall knife of the year. Yes, you guys, again, this is 2022 and ProTech killed it. Knife collaboration of the year and, of course, the investor collector knife of the year. So, we want to take a look at some knives here. Morning, Matt. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you. It is the last day of the show. What do we got today to look well, at? I guess to start off with, so our big show, our <laughs> big show piece was the Malibu Operator. Combination of our most popular lineup, which is the Operator Series, which is a sterile blade, sterile handle, and then a tritium push button as well. Now Gotta this is the that. knife that won the overall knife of the year. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's actually our first time winning three awards in one year. So it is a, um, we're very happy about that one. Yeah, there's always an award here though. We are. Now the one we really do try our hardest for is the Investment Collector Award. Uh -huh. That one won, it was the ATCF with a diamond button. It was oh. Wade Wilson engraved. <laughs> it's actually out there for display. We'll yeah. Check it out later on. I'll have to go out there and ask so, it. I believe that's our ninth time in a row winning our 10th time winning that award overall. Nice. So we're now in the double digits. Awesome. And then I guess, you know, it is the end of the day, but we have a few stuff set aside for yes. video. One of our new models is the Tirzula, Magnica DLC blade, aluminum chassis, really heavily stippled G10 on this one. It's beautiful. It's got a custom titanium pocket clip as well. It really rockets hard. Yeah, the you... aluminum knives we make are always the best balance out of the box. They They're really beautiful. Have great pieces. Whether you want it for your safe or you know, really to abuse as well. Um, kind of going more to the custom side. We did sell out, uh, but I do have a personal piece as well. This I want to show them this in my hand, sure. size hand, really quick. Be careful because I do have a ring on the hand. So you guys know my hand size, three inches across, four inches diagonally. This is just a wonderful size. Absolutely love this one. And then, kind of a personal, okay, I beat up a little bit. This is a, almost like a mid-tech version. So a full stainless, gorgeous. a 416 stainless handle, mosaic button, satin finish with some jeweling on here and then on the inside as well. Desert ironwood handle, and then a Chad Nickel ladder Damascus blade. So I'd like to get that one close sure. up a little bit. It's got a little more weight to it. Oh wow. So you guys, I'm, I'm actually videoing this before I even had a chance to stop and look at this. So I'm looking at this through a camera. I'm looking at this in person, hang on. This is absolutely gorgeous. And we got some good lighting at your booth. I'm loving this. There you go. Thank you. Kind of moving across to the next one. We've been playing a lot with our sapphire blue finish. It's a zirconium nitride finish, which is very similar to the hardness of ceramic. That's ceramic really being nice. right under the hardness of diamond. Snappy little guy. The TR5 is one of my personal favorite knives. So you combine it with a sapphire blue, abalone button, fish scale, extra safety, glass break or pommel, and a deep carry pocket clip. It is one of the most functional knives in our lineup. It's one of my personal favorites. I really like that one. Me too. And the snap, all of them are very snappy. They really are. Look at that button. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous in that blade? Oh. Your scales. Now, I cannot shut that because I'm one-handed right now. It. Kind of Just moving into the, the smaller knives we have, still equally snappy. We have two runs for this show. The Runt 5 is a fifth generation of the Runt series we've been doing. The original Runt was made on Dave's kitchen table, and to now have it in 2022 as an updated generation really does make us happy. This is a new uh, dragon scale texture we've done. Pearl button as well. That's very cool. Gives it a new look as well. A nice little landing pad for the clip. Same 20 CV blade. It's a super snappy little knife. Yes. <laughs> now that one I did actually have a chance to play with before I started this mm -hmm. video, and that has kick. Oh yeah. I love that one. Well, in California, we can't carry much. So for automatics, right. it has to be two inches or under. Right. So if we're gonna carry a knife, you better have a big spring in it. And, and that, yeah. Absolutely. I have a run five, and I love it. Uh-huh, I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> Going to the ultimate custom line, you guys might have actually seen this one before, but it's a Chad Nichols Ladder Damascus one clip blade and then hand engraved by Bruce Shaw. Yes. And then the material is aluminum bronze. Now this is something that is absolutely, it, being on camera, this, there's no way you can do this one justice. 
when you see this, I can show you guys this. I can zoom in on here and show you all day long. This knife is, I, I'm making faces back here. We always this say knife is in, just incredible. We always say pieces like these are a snapshot in time. Yes. You know, these knives will live on longer than us, our kids, and their oh. kids after. But to combine, you know, the Damascus maker, our design today, the engraver who wanted to do it, it really is a piece of art. Um, and you know, one day people are gonna look back at these pieces and think about when it was made and the people involved with it. It's just, I mean, it's the not, definition of functional art. It really is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was sitting over here playing with this one for a little while, and again, the snap. Well, any protect knife with the snap is just insane. Absolutely insane. Final piece. This is our custom sprint. This one's in titanium. It's actually a two-tone finish. It is hard to catch in the lighting. It is. But it's a uh, 3D contour titanium handle milled with a wave pattern, anodized blue. And then our assembler's hand sat in the flats, the spines as well, and it's anodized bronze. It's a two-tone finish. It's this one has a different Damascus. It's Vegas Forge, Spirograph Damascus. Okay. And then a mill titanium pocket clip as well. So instead of a bent steel clip. Right. This one's actually a billet of titanium the machine down. It's about a 40 minute cycle just to make the clip. Yeah, I that's something every single one of these. I would love to have this one. I would love to have this one. Unfortunately it's out of my range. But you do know a guy. But I do know a guy. You do know a boot and I a boot. Yes and I do know that you know hey I can save up for one of these because I am absolutely in love. I really wish there was a way to get a better, you know, like a true to life real color on these, you guys. These are just absolutely phenomenal. And I think the small little customs are always my favorites because you, yeah. it's easier to carry with a bigger knife as well. It really is. You can have is. like a beater knife and then a nice little pocket jewelry knife as well. I'm trying to give you guys different angles here so you can see that. Absolutely gorgeous. So, you guys, it is Sunday. How did Protect do? Well, what's it look like how they did? Of course, they absolutely killed it because it's Protect. Thanks, Matt, guys. thank you so much. You guys, thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, let me know. Reach out. I'll get them answered for you, and we'll see you next time.